They even ban out their own uh, number one support. Definitely a uh, respectable strategy. You don't want to give that one away. So Leon and Annie now, probably what we'll be looking at. Um, two next most popular support picks. Well, let's see what we go with this one. 30 seconds to make their choice. They did all right with Leon and Twitch. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing here. Of course, Elise available for a first pick jump if they want it. Every top laner, aside from Yasuo, open as well. DJJ doing a lot of the talking here. Uh, and they're going to go for Leona. So Thresh off the plate and they say, yep, we still want this support. We're going to start this team going the same. Remy's going to play that one. Well, Thresh is a pretty good counter, sort of soft counter to mm -hmm. Leona uh, because he can't interrupt a lot of her engages. And with that one being off the board, it's actually seems like an even better pick nowadays because yeah. if you go up against an Annie, it's much easier to 100% burst her down uh, than the Thresh because you don't have to worry about that interrupt. So let's see what the answer is now for Sergio's dream. Are they ready for these matchups? Now, last time, DJJ blind picked Renekton and had an okay time in lane. Sergio's dream going to make some different choices here. They hover on the Jinx. And they're going to hover on Gragas as well. The Gragas does get locked in here. So part of the team getting stolen away. And Jinx, best in SJ. He said he's been getting better and better at that champion throughout the tournament overall, mm -hmm. the Collegiate Championship. He's going to try to put in another good performance here in game two. Yeah, that one, uh, he's going to have to have a pretty good uh, laning phase. Because I don't think that uh, U-Beast wanted to let him get rolling like he did on Vayne. Jinx can carry very easily as well. And they might send more more jungle attention down there. And of course, now Jinx without a Thresh to pull her away. Vi yeah. and Mundo coming in. So Leona Vi, freaking ton of engagement potential. And Mundo just to sit there and start melting the back line. Definitely will make uh, her job hard for her. Yeah. Have to have a really good positioning. Now the new Xerath. This I've is 4.1, uh, okay. so it's not new Zareth. Man, I keep getting so excited I for know. all these new things. I know. When Soon. Is our, uh, Soon yeah, exactly. I think we have one, one more week. Yeah. Next then, week should be 4.2. And then we're going to switch over patches. So the hover, what's it going to go for? Jungle Lee Sin, great choice. Haven't seen him actually almost at all, uh, I think, today whatsoever. I want to see him. He's a fun champion to watch. He runs around, jumps towards, kicks people in the face, knocks them around. Nami going to be picked up here for Jinx. Now, I personally really like Tidecaller's Blessing plus Rockets because you slow them from far away and you guarantee all three shots. Yeah, it's a popular combo. The uh, only drawback for that Nami and Jinx lane is that the bubble kind of hard to land. Mm -hmm. So if you can start it off with a zap first, yeah. then it's a really, really potent combo because bubble into Flame Choppers, still very easy to, com to combine. Mm -hmm. Even though the activation on the Flame Choppers has been increased. Bubble yeah. lasts plenty of time. Yeah, one and a half second stun into one and a half second root. Uh, pretty good to deal damage during that time. I feel like it's going to work out. And of course, Caitlyn, we got to mention, wasn't banned this time around. And Cat 8's going to play it. And LeBlanc also going to run out the lineup here. Deluxe playing LeBlanc here against Gragas. Remy seems to be pretty happy with those last couple picks. And like we said so many times earlier today, LeBlanc was, uh, you know, 11 and 0. Going into today. Not anymore. In the LCS. Lost. Yeah. Somebody <coughs> somebody ruined her <coughs> record. <coughs> yep. She has a, a decent matchup against Gragas, though. Uh, Woo! Chemo. Lock it in. Just do it. <laughs> you know you want to. Come on, Feng Shen. Don't troll me here. He's going to be playing Nami for himself. He's picking arguably for the top laner. That's the most likely choice still left open. But we do see Gragas and Lee Sin play in different lanes. I like this from UBS because they're, you know, supposedly have the better top lane player. Yeah. And they put Mundo into his hands. If Mundo gets ahead. Oh, it is. Well, okay. I uh, will have to see now. Will it be the Teemo top or will it be the Gragas top? Uh, both of those are viable top laners. Teemo and, jungle, uh, dude. Don't you know? At the moment, well, Cutie Pie would definitely agree with you. Yeah. He plays uh, Teemo jungle and challenger. So it's a good choice. And Ramus top. Now, Timo, with his Timo top versus Mundo is going to have a pretty good time uh, for Timo until he starts uh, getting to the point where Vi yeah. comes to visit. It is Jakiro. It's his most played in solo queue. His most played? Jakiro is a Timo main. This is big then. Yep. Timo main up top. Most important part, what skin is he going to use for the game? There's so uh, many choices. we gotta, we got to place bets on this. If I win, you're not you owe me a high five. On this if game you win, street. I owe you a high five. I'm going with... Um, Super Teemo. Yeah, I heard someone yell Super You're Teemo. You're cheating now. They, that's no. insider information. The game hasn't They're loaded in yet. school. 
<laughs> mm, I'll go with astronaut then. Astronaut. All right. Double or nothing. Double. Even though I haven't high lost ten? anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's going to be a high 10 this time around. One of us is going to win a high 10. I don't know if you can really win one because you kind of both receive it. It's kind of like a shared Now, going gesture. into the mid-game here, uh, <laughs> Timo versus Mundo. Yeah. Timo actually has a lot of objective control, even though Mundo's bringing in the teleport. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see where Timo roams to. Because if they just leave him in the top lane, yeah. and he just top lane split pushes, it's actually not that great for their team. Even though he's yeah. a strong split pusher and he can litter the area with mushrooms, it's much more beneficial to get him roaming and to set those up around Dragon, yeah. around Baron, because that's a very easy way to win a team fight, is yeah. have the enemy team baited through a field of mines or uh, radars or what are the super ones? They're just little uh, super They're little like discs. shields with like a T on it yeah, for Super Teemo. And uh, by the way, yeah, yes. Well. You yep. cheated because they told you the answer. I mean, I just, I just listen to what people tell me. I'm a man of the people. And the people gave me the answer. Freak so. the Rock, David Turley. Yes, I've got the eyebrow to prove it. All right, People's look at this. Eyebrow. Uh, it's also looking like a little bit of an invade here from Sergio's dream. Ooh. So they want to make a, a move here. Now we saw this before the day, and it didn't work out. Too. Gotta be careful. This time of the hour, though, they're running with Lee Sin, mm. and he's got pretty good uh, early execute for jungle invades. Now, will Nami blind uh -oh, bubble uh -oh. this tri bush? Nope. Oh, uh, he could have body slam flashed. That'd There's be cool. Q. Take the Q. He has no idea what's on the other end of that one. I guess uh, he does you not have lift? the Lee Syndrome. No. Cat 8. Land another one. Bubble's not going to land on anything. So, what is the grass? I never stand in the corner of that bush anymore. No. Because you can see just as well out in the open where Cat 8 is standing right now. Mm -hmm. And everyone always throws their skill shots into this bush anyway. So you don't gain anything from not being seen. Because they're going to throw it right there anyway. See? Exactly. Even if they saw him and they know he's standing <laughs> outside. What could cool. be in that bush, Freak? You know, what's could be behind, other champions. What's behind door number two? You could never know Leona. what you could get. Yep. They don't see him right now. I'm going to throw into that brush again. Bang Shen. He's got a 100% hit rate on that bush. <laughs> <laughs> it's well watered. It's going to grow. It's going to be is. a taller brush it's later gonna on. It's going to be a giant brush by the end of the game. It's going to start spreading. That'd be cool. Start spreading brush around. Garen would be super happy. New champion, please, can create brush somewhere Gardner. on the map. Gardner that would have champion. to be the, that would be the hard counter. Yeah, <laughs> chops it down. I can see now. So second time here. Wow. Uh, Sergio's dream duo is helping their jungler start, and they're gonna be a little bit later to game. It's gonna be Cat Eight. Oh, actually, this is a reverse situation. Mm. Since they switch sides here, uh, yep. this time around it's Cat Eight and Remy on the Caitlyn Leona wow. combo that are shoving in early, which is very. Beneficial for them. Deluxe, yeah, taking some early Two body, body slams. slams. This is not what you want to do. Arxy Slash putting the damage on, happily just throwing his face in there. And Loke Tran, look at the invade. Look at that proof of payment. Stops by for his wolves, and he doesn't know this is going on right now. Lee Sin loves to fight early. So even if he finds somebody early, uh, it would be fine to have a scrap in the jungle. But you're right, since he skipped the uh, in-between camp, he's going to be able to finish that red buff off quickly. And he might even let the little lizard back in time to fight Proof of Payment afterwards. Oh, the Q hit the minion! Q's down, though. Yeah, he just he queued the little minion and killed it. He was yeah. one hit away from getting a Q onto Proof. Uh, unfortunate there. Forces the flash either way, though, and it's two buffs to one. Yeah, so he was trying to finish it off as quickly as possible right when Vi comes, though. Oh, oh, this was so good. He's trying to stab him at double golem. Yeah, he's not giving up hope on the invade, and it's going to be a rough game for Proof of Payment because he's used half his life here as well. He has a smite up, though, so if Loctran tries to damage that golem, he can steal it away with smite. Do it! Gets it. Nicely Got done it. by Proof. Loctran's like, all right, fine. And he doesn't actually get ganked by either the bottom lane or the mid. The pressure from uh, Arxy Slash prevents Deluxe from moving around and, and ganking him in the jungle. Mm, yeah, not necessarily sure I like that move. I definitely, as a jungler, I love having the mid laner collapse. Looked like LeBlanc had a little bit of an HP lead mm -hmm. on Gragas, too. But uh, I have to say, Proof of Payment was not really in a position to fight. Ooh, good damage. Lands the slow as well. Good jump away there by Deluxe. Loke trying to take some pain, but he's going to be all right. Yeah, and the Ignite does come out. Going to get LeBlanc extremely low. No more passive left for her either. I think if Arxy Slash Flash bought his MD, he would have gotten the kill. I don't think the body slam hit. Very, very close. Oh, oh the Flash Q! Q! Woo! That's going to happen. Loke trend making it 
looks stylish. Four minutes in. Now, he didn't even wait. Um, he didn't wait too long, so the assist still goes over to Grogan. Yeah. That's huge for them, actually. Assist on first blood is, is a giant chunk. You know what's even cooler for that? That what? kill came at about 4.08 into the game. <laughs> what? Really? That was good. That was good. <laughs> it's the area code for San Jose. Come on, guys. You're supposed to cheer for things where I'm talking about your hometown. Whatever. Screw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't count anymore. Too late, guys. One kill into the game. Three. Sergio's dream. Calm it down. Don't get violent here. <laughs> Sorry. There's more of them than there are of us, and I do... Well, I guess I have We got a height advantage. I just have to run faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. We'll see what we can do with this one. So, bottom lane, we're watching it. Lokran gets rid of the jungle just in time. Level 5 here. Hasn't even gone back yet. Max in the queue. Going for the maximum damage here. Deluxe putting some pain. Gets the sounds on RxZ Slash. And he's gotten to Doran's ring for his first back. So... Well, a look at the items for the top lane here. Mundo on his first back, as soon as he can get Negatron Cloak, picks it up. Because he's going to be taking magic damage over and over and over pretty much the entire lane. As we said, those bubbles kind of hard to land. Uh, not able to get Cat 8 with that one. Wow, nice harass as well landed on the exit there. Ooh, and Proof of Payment slinks into the brush. Can he find it? Goes for Feng Shen. Good damage there. Triggers the denting blows, but has to back off. Yeah, I didn't want to make his time in the bush a complete waste. But really all that did was anger Loctran. And uh, you know he's making his move down now. He's got a red buff. Still half that left. Of course, he got his own red buff late because he stole away proof of payments. Well, it's, uh, it's in one more minute until that'll come, that'll come back up. So we'll have to see if he can uh, set up some additional vision inside this red side jungle. He's just taking away camps left and right. This Wraith camp is gone. Does he want to go for like the... Oof. He has his Trinket Ward up. His Q's down right now though. Well, finds through payment. Shield comes in, Vault Breaker's away. Yep, that's a retreat right there from Vi. And Lok Tran, happy to just take control of this jungle. He's pinging down bottom lane here. He said he's on the way. Can they go Can for this one? they land the setup though? They need a setup slow. All right, the Kite Claw is blessing. They're trying uh, to land it. Oh, the it. bubble lands on Remy, the Vault. Uh-oh, this is not good. Jumps into Lok Tran, though. That's a good escape there. If Remy can get out, lands the Q. More damage coming through, but Lok Tran can't Dangerous. follow it up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the flash Whoa. and the heal! Lok Tran survives because of the healing. Oof. Bang Shen again. Looks like he's a, a pretty big star for this team, I have yep. to say. As far as supports go, he's, he's impressing me a lot. Doing a very good job with this one. 45 to 44 in minions, though. Caitlyn, one of the premier lane bullies in League of Legends, not pulling much of a lead here in this one. The more props to be given to uh, the bottom lane here of Sergio's dream. The top lane still holding pretty equal, 55 to 51. Haven't watched that much at all right here. It's basically Mundo saying, you know, Teemo's kind of annoying to lane against. Yeah, Mundo versus Teemo, not very interesting to watch. So we'll probably just keep the camera down here where all the action is. Lee Sin hey. coming in for another gank here, but it's so close to the turret. It's so dangerous for him to go for that. Oh, oh misses miss. the Q. Very unfortunate. Now, uh, we are coming up on the seven and a half minutes here, so he's a little bit late on his blue buff. He might not be able to make the second invade for red, because um, red is going to come up very quickly, and Proof of Payment knows the timer as well, because he was over there. So if he decides to go and clear that out first, he could actually stop the second invade. But he's not doing it. He nope. wants to go for the kill up top. On to Teemo, Global Taunt doing its work. And Proof got his own blue buff on that one too. Deluxe didn't pick that one up, so a uh, bit of a mana disadvantage here for Deluxe's LeBlanc. And health disadvantage. Yep, true. Chalice already done for RxZ Slash. The MR's gonna keep him from getting bursted. And he even went for some MR glyphs. Oof. Almost finds that one. Ulti would have probably knocked him out of recall, but not that important. We don't also see Loctrain going for the secondary invade here. So even though his mid lane has bullied the Ubi's mid lane, uh, he doesn't feel the confidence to go in for that red invade because their duo lane has been pushed all the way to the turret, and the duo lane can come answer. We'll see what he can do here. Jakiro does have mushrooms in the top lane. Of course, we did say it wasn't going to be a crazy uh, active lane, but we're just seeing Teemo being a superhero, putting the damage across. DJ landing another cleaver, briefcase, whatever. Okay, here There's it the comes. Invade. As soon as they do have uh, the duo lane back in their favor, able to go for it. 
And it looks like it will be plenty of time for him to steal this one away once again. Now the only question is, do they set up a gank? Because there's no vision in Tribush right now. Mm, see what they can do with this one right now. It's all three members. All three, well, three members of... Uh, the dragon. You be in the bottom side. Here we go. Dragon getting started. Lokran low on energy, but who cares? He's least saying he's going to get it back. Low on life, though. That does matter. He's getting really, really low quickly. Still putting the pain across. Dragon down to half right now. They see it's warded. And they're actually going to back off. They don't want to go for the fight right now. Guy's it, a little bit gun shy. It would be really easy to burst down Lee Sin right now. That low life, all it takes is a Vi ulti into a LeBlanc combo. And he's toast. Oxy Slash just going to get XP in the lane, missing the minions under the turret. Giving respect to Deluxe right here. 800 gold lead puts Sergio's dream ahead right now. Jakiro still holding completely equal to DJJ. Just the Spectre's Cowl pickup is enough to keep Moon in a happy place. Haunting guys, not really piercing through it. Mushrooms will keep him in a decent shape against ganks, but Jakiro's running low on mana. I don't know how much more he can do right now in this lane. We also still have to keep in mind the teleport. It hasn't had to be used for uh, early purchasing. So if they do decide to go for something like that dragon, then it's going to be Ubis to have the extra person that can join the fight. Proof of payment. Knowing there's a ward down there, he's going to wait in the secondary brush here, but Cat8 and Remy still just pushing this lane down. It's going to be hard for Vi to find a gank here. He's going to be waiting for it, though. Uh, looks like he uh, he does have the patience. It will have to be a well timed Go in. Leona oh, ultimate. spam on a Fang. Shine a lot of damage. Tidal comes across, landing on a three, but it's going to be... The Nami burning down and picked up Cat 8 with the ulti, making it stylish. Best in SJ. Now, make the to call defend. to go for this dragon here. Teemo is actually recalling right now. They have the teleport on Mundo. Doesn't look like the pings are coming down because Lee Sin's actually got himself into a good position to contest it. And they're putting a lot of pressure on LeBlanc mid. He's unseen coming in towards the mid lane right there. No one's around a counter gank. But the pressure's not going to come down on that one. So Why Lee Sin's still sitting bottom as well. Wow, all right. So it's going to be the push instead towards the Wraith. We've been seeing this camp get counter-jungled over and over and over again here. Lokran constantly taking this one away. Level 7, though, on both junglers anyway, so not getting too big of a lead. Spots a pink ward. All right. That's a good pickup. He's going to be able to get it here, too. And that yeah. also cost a couple CS for, for LeBlanc. They're calling for the dive. They go on barrel roll, comes off. No explosive cast. Deluxe going to jump back in. Lands a root on Arxy Slash. Bit of damage coming across. Lisa lands the Q. Explosive cast flashes! Oh, a little late, a little Ooh. late there. And Teleport is cancelled. Yeah. Alright, half cooldown. Pretty payment. Oh, sees him. So I'm got through and the Vault Raker down right now, so Lee Sin's gonna have a field day. Smite comes through, looks like that was picked up by Lee Sin. Still the damage coming on to prove. Dragon kick! Ulti's there, but it's too high in health right now. Deluxe forced him away, roots him in place. Proof doesn't want to go for it. Q Oof. That Q would have been death. Lizard Elderly Sin does plenty of damage. Yeah, Q into Dragon Kick. Probably should take him out. A lot of damage onto both mid and top turret here. Oh, uh, Jakiro forced around a little bit. DJJ putting more pain going towards the Fear Visage. Look, Tran, the roam towards mid is going to pay off, though. First turn of the game goes to Sergio's Dream. Gives him a 2,000 gold lead. Looks like uh, we might have a UV contesting this dragon though. Everybody's in the area. They have no more vision. It's going to be second dragon here over to Sergio's dream. And second attempt on this one as well. They're going to go for it. Low on health. Uh, pretty good pickup there. That's going to happen for Lok Tran. 1-0-0. Zero, zero. Low kill game. There it is. The dragon picked up more gold. Now two and a half thousand here. Timo happily taking away some double golems. Building up that magic pen build. Leandris, I think pretty typical build for Timo throughout time. Now, we are seeing a very good early lead for Sergio's Dream, but we haven't seen Mundo in action yet. Uh, or Teemo, I guess. Uh, yeah. Teemo in action, though, is, uh, has to be more premeditated. Oh, no. Getting down mushrooms earlier. And he hasn't, you know, ventured anywhere but the top lane, so no extra control there from the mushrooms. Yeah. Well, looks like Jakiro is a pre-med major in this one. Looking forward to planning things out ahead. Pink Ward in the jungle, and the river actually is going to allow... Oh, look at the pain on the DJJ, the though. Bait, the bait. The damage coming through. He's going to oh, die God. anyway. Jakiro flashes. Can he get away? Vault Breaker. The flash oh, in. One more hit. There's Timo. a mushroom. There's a mushroom. Super Teemo. Super powered. He's going to get a double kill. That's Teemo, ladies and gentlemen. That is 
just soul crushing right there. He tries to set up the bait on the Teemo, dies himself, and then also baits in the jungler to dive turret. Yep. That's when you know he's a Teemo main. He already has him behind the turret waiting for the dive. Well, That's he, when you know you played enough he, Teemo. He put that sucker down. All right, we want to watch it again just because we didn't get enough Teemo the first time around. He's burning. He's got the Ignite. So much damage over time. The last auto attack barely gets out of his blowgun before... Wow, well, he did have it down already. Yeah. See? I just don't trust you. Uh, but man, <laughs> that was beautiful. He's expecting the dive. Yeah. Man, when you know. What can I say? Teemo, five steps ahead. Yep. Here we go. Keep it going. Let's he see. does scout ahead. Yeah. That was actually backwards in his own territory, though. He scouted right. backwards. It works still. Now we have another invade. This red side jungle is just pretty much uh, Sergio's domain down here. They've got everybody roaming down. And it's pretty much all about who gets the first kill. Wow, because red buff again. It's getting stolen away, and there's no vision inside the bush. Wow, zero red buffs this entire game for UBs. They haven't gotten a single one right here. Sergio's Dream doing pretty okay. This bottom line actually holding very equal. I gotta say, without the Thresh Hooks, we're not seeing nearly the same sort of explosive kill pressure. It's still Lokhtran and Jakiro making plays. Let's see what else they can do. Now, we have seen a lot of camping from Vi down bottom, though, and it's mm -hmm. cost her in CS. So, uh, we're seeing the discrepancy actually manifest itself in the junglers instead of the bottom lane. And Caitlyn going even with Jinx is actually really good for Jinx. So, he's going to be happy about that late game. And he is indeed. So here we see... Ooh, Roam up else. top from Gragas, looks like. Teemo calling for the offensive move this time. He's going towards Merlinomicon. That'll be a fun one. DJJ smelling something's up. Sitting nearby his turret, Arxy Slash. Happy to hit it, to actually take a cleaver to the face. Jinx ult, a little <laughs> they, premature. They called that they were going to uh -oh, go for the uh -oh. gank. Now it is Lachtran on the run. Lands a Q. Whoa, don't take that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man. A really soon would take Okay, that. do take it. Uh-oh, the jump in. One more hit to go. That's going to be Lokhtran dying. Well picked up. Deluxe taking the solo kill. Top lane turret goes down thanks to the Gragas roam, but I don't know, man. Red buff on, onto LeBlanc. Remy now getting locked up uh -oh. under the turret. Puts a solar flare down. Knocked up by the wave as well. Look at the damage from Cat 8. they got to be careful. Kato could kill them. There's the body slam from Arxy Slash. Taking the kill back. Shakira's going to go down. Puts the mushrooms. Not going to matter, though. These guys going to stay alive in this one. LeBlanc for Teemo, a uh, decent trade there. And down bottom, grabbing a kill for that uh, will work out in their favor. No dragon's going to come up soon, though. So a couple of random kills around the map, uh, but no objective taken afterwards. It's pretty much just Caitlyn doing Caitlyn's thing, trying to get Whoa. extra damage. Done. There's the bubble. There's the traps as well. That's actually taking a bunch of pain, though. they got to be careful. The Q comes off as well. Feng Shen, he's uh -oh. in ult range, Cat 8. Flash auto doesn't get the kill though. And in comes Lokhtran, lands the Q, finds Remy, puts the slow down. Cat 8 not in a good spot, taken down. Lokhtran making it happen. He had and now Remy's not in a good spot. Hit one more, takes it. Another Lee Sin Q hits on a DJJ. They don't go for that one. Teleport, not very effective. Yeah. Uh, flashing in there instead of uh, going for the ultimate. Interesting choice. Yeah, did not pay off. Did get counter gank DJJ holding the bottom lane here. And heck, Timo was dead anyway. He's going to uh, circle around towards the dragon. That's still a minute and 20 away. DJJ, bit aggressive here. Explosive cast into the wall. He's on the ward as well. Ulti comes across, flashes. DJJ forced to burn flash for that one. All right, a little bit of action coming down bottom. Now, I guess your ulti can be blocked. So let's watch again. He's got plenty of mana right now. Uh, your ultimate can get blocked, but uh, still very dangerous. I guess Lee Sin would have blocked it in that situation. So either way, not getting the kill. But wasting a flash to go deep like that did cost him his life. Yeah, and Jakiro goes down in the mid lane. Tried to make a play on Deluxe. Couldn't quite get the damage across. But Morella Namakon and a Magic Pen build is here for Jakiro. So he's going to do a much better job against Mundo since he can continually apply the, uh, the healing reduction. Any magic damage at all will yeah. do it. So the team will poison. Plenty there. Mushrooms will do it, etc their pocket counter to Mundo. Mm -hmm. Genius bait. Yep. Forcing them to... Did you really just show a dead team in picture in picture? I'm just... I can't even... I think that happened. All right. I'm sad. Oh, here's the engage, though. Don't miss the Leona. Ulti. Well, Feng Shen low on health, trying to heal himself and run away. Does not have flash, but he does what? have really uh -huh. fast flippers. Trying to get out there. Oh, oh! the bubble! Not quite going to make it happen. Proof of payment. Doing good stuff with the flash there as well. Takes a mushroom, though. 
Yeah, he, he had the right though. idea, but the Flash uh, cannot play that one. LeBlanc going for the snare. It is a four versus five, but the HP advantage and the definitely advantage. here uh, for Sergio's dream. Wow, they're actually the ones tanking, or, or tanking Dragon now. All right, DDJ taking some pain right there on the traps. He's high enough health that the Merlin Omicron will not tick onto him just yet, but he's getting lower. Ulti still oh available. My oh god. my god, the burst. Goodbye to Cat 8. DJJ not in a good spot. Taking more pain. Lokran picks that one up. Now Remy in a bad spot. That's going to be a second kill picked up. Or I should say third at this point. Oh my gosh, 30,000 to 25,000. The chase going through. Dragon going to be picked up. Proof of payment and Jakiro. Oh. Look at the damage from Timo. Super Timo on the oh. chase. Oh, barely missing that one. Jakiro now and Deluxe in a battle. Deluxe jumping over the wall. Dragon goes down. Trade of Ignites. They're all right. That jingle right. was so close. Yeah, it was right by his head. Uh, they ended up getting the dragon, though, so definitely more global gold in their pockets. And the turret soon to follow. All right. Could be a couple dead minions there. So, this battle. Yeah, they get onto the flame choppers, and then he also steps to mushroom. That's just too much even for Mundo to handle. So he starts backing off. But Arxy Slash goes for the 100% double barrel, yep. and he also gets residual damage on both Mundo and Leona ensuring that they cannot continue the team fight. Very well done by these guys. The ex just crazy damage. Arxy Slash has been doing incredibly well this entire tournament, I gotta say. He's putting up great performances, and now this Gragas 2-0-4, 165 minions, definitely putting on good stuff. Almost done with Death Cap as well, so he's gonna get even more scary as time goes on. Lee Sin also. Uh, yeah. Being a team player, picking up the aura. <laughs> All right, so we have seen the Teemo start to roam. As I said, that's going to be a huge thing for them. Uh, Mushroom's all over the map now, and they're going to be boosted by that Leandries, making them all that much more annoying to walk through. You mean glorious. <laughs> they're glorious to behold. Those little yeah. Teemo shields, they're so good. I meant what I said. Nope. No, actually, stealing away the blue buff right now by himself, it looks like. Using mushrooms to help do that one. Pretty good getting the damage down there, and he takes that one away. Pink Ward helping make sure that no one saw him do it. Not even cleaning up after himself. Doesn't need to. It's on Le purpose. LeBlanc, though, might be able to pincer Lee Sin Driving right in the bottom lane. Can they get the damage across? Flash from Remy. The explosive cast, though, making Remy a pretty sad person. Jumps into the best in SJ, but has nowhere to go after this one. Damage likely to come through. There we go. Teemo Jinx. saves Lee Sin, and they get a double kill out of it. Uh-oh. Shield on Jakiro. He's going to try to run away now from DJJ. Does not have any more mushrooms available. The damage coming across, though. Mundo on the chase. There's the mushroom. Slow on Jakiro, though. This is not good for Teemo. Ignite comes across. Does juke around that mushroom. Do so it! Smart. He remembered yeah! it. Uh-oh. Lee Sin, the damage is. Puts a ward down. <laughs> stays alive. RC slash made happen. Cat 8 on the other side. Turns it back. Now, do they have the damage? The bubble! He predicts uh -oh. the jump! And that's going to be a knockup. Cat 8, nowhere to go. Nice double kill picked up. All wow. right. Uh, Lockdran lost his life, but he took the uh, he took the heal. So here's here's the two on one that actually got turned around when Timo joined the party. The burst here on to LeBlanc is insane. Going with the dragon kick into the uh, resonating strike there. And he's able to follow it up. Another flash Q from him. And well I like played. the move that Teemo did. Yeah. So the trigger radius of mushrooms is smaller than the explosion radius. He put a mushroom down on a minion, knowing the explosion would still reach Vi. And Vi wasn't like in range to auto attack it and kill it. The little Teemo, things you little learn things. from many, many Teemo games. <sighs> the fact that I knew that means I play Teemo. You guys are welcome. I'm one of, I'm one of those people who plays Teemo. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure they could tell that. I could just be like a silent fan, but no, I play the little guy. So three, two, and four for Chikiro. He's got the Merlin Omicon. He's got the makings of, I'm wondering which actually item it's going to be from the Insular Large Rod. All three would be good. Mid lane turret under siege, though. It's going to be turret number five here for Sergio's dream. And Logtran waiting in the wings to make a play if someone jumps by him. Wards go down. The siege continuing now. Red buff, Arxy slash 4-0 oh, and 5. Deathcap Dragus starting on the Void Staff as well. These guys look poised to take the game. Yeah, they've got a really good uh, siege set up here. Leona's actually on the outside looking to come in for the pincer. A lot of damage taken from Nani, though. Uh oh, the damage in. Best and SJ not in a good spot. Taken down rapidly. The battle going to continue. Lokran not in a good spot. He's Mushroom staying alive there with the shield. Proof of payment not in a good spot either. He'll get taken down three, four, sorry, two for one so far. And the siege going to continue. Jakiro looking for Cat 8. 
Flashes oh, Q the auto. Is coming in though. Ooh. It's a pretty good berry though, and the fight has begun and continued now. The sweeper is gonna actually prevent the mushroom from going down and doing anything. Cat eight still burns to death. Emo firing one back. Meanwhile, they're taking the mid turret here. Looks yep. like it is gonna go down. Inhibitor turret successfully taken for Sergio's dream. Three plus a turret for two. Definitely a worthwhile <laughs> battle here for Sergio's dream. And Lotran continuing the trend. Gonna counter jungle the wolves as he leaves the base. So even more going well. A 10 to 11,000 gold lead now, putting Sergio's dream from San Jose State University in a good spot here. All right, let's take a look at this one again. It was uh, LeBlanc doing all the harass on two. There. And then immediately, once the team splits, they don't hesitate to go right for Jinx. I like the call from UV. The only problem is that once you go deep, you're inside the mushroom field with Teemo. And uh, they had a hard time getting out of it. Here we go. Flash, Flash. auto. Misses the Q. Oh. The barrier, though, is ineffective because he popped the barrier when uh, there was no incoming damage. And there's the Q. Yeah. Q auto there, able to finish him off. It's going to be Death Cap Teemo. That's the next item up here. So plenty of magic pens starts adding the ability power to synergize. Could have seen any of them. But I got to point out 7, 2, and 4 on Loktran's Lee Sin. We talk about the Lee Sin as a champion who can sometimes fall off later, especially if you don't buy a lot of combat stats. Went Moby Boots and Sight Stone and is still a gigantic threat in fights. Just constantly putting out pressure. I got to hand it to him. He's playing an amazing well, tournament so not far. Not only has he been getting kills, but he's been providing security for his team by constantly having vision on the red side jungle of UVs. Mm -hmm. He's talking about that they didn't get a red buff this game, in the nope. early game, the entire early game. Uh, and it was all due to the Lee Sin invades. That, of course, were backed up by his team. Yep. So Baron now getting swept away. Dragon is being prepped by Teemo, uh, shrooming up the area. So that if they do have a fight down there, they will have the advantage and they can kite back through those. Mid lane minions are dead. Of course, there's no turret protecting the inhibitor. And there's mushrooms on the way down. They're to daring stop them, them to go for Baron. And yep. they'll just take inhibitor. Well, some damage coming across. Jinkle comes in. Deluxe on the side. Finds Best in SJ. Good damage there. The battle has begun. Unij in front. Here comes Pi as well. Finds the Jinx. The shield's coming across. Keeping him alive, though. It's not going to be anything picked up there. It's going to be the kill onto two so far. Firing one back onto Teemo, though. Two for one in the battle. Low health bars from U Beast. And looks like SGD going to push in. Now, inhibitor laid open. Best and SJ going to get the kill credit. That was a very bad position for U Beast to come from because Teemo had put a ward in the only entrance that they had to the lane. And the mm -hmm. front line had to walk through the shroom to try and get to Jinx at the back line here. See the Nami ulti going through, and then, you know, Mundo and Remy both trying to get through there. Uh, they eventually do get onto Jinx because Vi is able to ulti, uh, but it's not enough to finish them off because all the damage is caught up back in this jungle. But Teemo's dead work. Yep, yep, absolutely. If you kill Teemo, it doesn't even matter. You secured your goal and took him down. Four deaths on Teemo, I gotta say. You kill Teemo four times, it's basically like getting four wins this game. Uh, so Unofficially. Uh, in the, uh, championship. Yeah, they, they've actually already won the tournament. They're making a desperate call here. This is going to be an exciting, Baron, because All right, Sergio's uh, team are definitely in the area, and, and they've got to drive. All right, UBs, they've got to make this one happen. Down 13k. The jump in from Deluxe. Can he get the damage across? Not quite enough. DJJ low in the back line. going to have to pop the ulti. Can they find more RT slash the round? There's a jump in. Lokran finds Deluxe. He's going to get away from this one, though. Solar Flare comes across. Remy. Trying to run away from this, but Lokran still on the chase. The fake LeBlanc clone dies. Remy still trying to one. The red buff slow. The Jinx ulti as well. Q's not going to land on a LeBlanc, but they do get the kill. On to Remy's Leona. One for zero. Baron stands alone. Yeah, it was a desperate Baron attempt, but being down 920, uh, they decided to make a move. That was the call that they were going to go for. If they had been able to burst it down, it would be a good step back into this game. But Sergio's dream, catch them in their plans and turn it completely around. Looks like it will be uh, their Baron to take now. JJ get pushed around a little bit. Archie Slash not finding the engage. He's just there to zone the team out. Great title is going to land onto a few proof of game in the, the front bubble. line. Knock back, goodbye! Down goes Vi, Baron still getting hit. All right, Baron goes go down. down. That's going to be Sergio's dream. They can actually uh, push right up the middle, but they want to stop that bottom lane. Side lane push uh, instead, I guess, will be the order of the day for Sergio's dream. Let's see what they can do. Can they close this game out right here? 16,000 gold lead. Let's get a quick replay. Yeah, pretty good combo there on Tamuno. Get him uh, a little bit of damage early, softening him up. He already had to burn the ulti earlier for tanking Baron, so that damage is going to stick. And then 
man, that ultimate. Not only did it split Vi towards the team, but knocked everyone else away. So it was mm -hmm. an easy focus fire there. Pretty glorious stuff with these guys. So, can they push forward? Baron on them. Six turret kills. Mid lane inhibitor already dead. They can look for the top bottom lane or maybe even <gasps> the next Captain itself. Boots. It's Captain not, Boots! It's not on Teemo, though. So they got That's a new fine. captain. It's yep. Nami. Two captains. The co-captains. Feng Shen is the true captain of this team. Oh, they're sharing the duties. They're just, it's a they're team. They're swarming in it's on Vi. It looks like the call here from the captain is to uh, take out Vi. He's able to use his Vault Breaker to get away. They look in. They find a knockup onto Mundo. Not going to follow it too much. Damage from Jinx actually pretty high. Greg is a lot of pain. EDJ in the front lines forced back. Oh, Lee Sin goes in and finds it. Lotran just happy to tank at the front lines. Taking turret aggro though as well. He's getting lower and lower, but stays alive. The kill. Keeping him up. Double kill. Lotran finally goes down. Kill picked up by Cat8, who has retreated successfully. Deluxe in the back line as well. The clone's gonna take that one, but it's a three for one battle so far. And SGD still in control of this base. Yeah, real strong showing here from SGD. And they're making a great case for themselves uh, already with their eyes on tomorrow's game. Oh! oh! Deluxe making the plays, but can't juke around in Teemo Q. It's going to be a one for one. Jakiro on a rampage. Eight, four, and ten on Teemo. It's only Cat 8 left alive. Trying to defend the base against three. Kills some of the minions, but there comes Super in the front. Three seconds until the revives come in. Uh oh, Cat 8. Ah! Runs out of his nine lives. He's going to be now kind of alone. Going to be DJJ up, but it might not be enough. The pressure now onto the next as the dive comes through. Will they have to back up? Looks like that's going to be the case here. Bubble's going to land out of a cup, but Jakiro's going to go down. UB holding on to this game. DJJ burning down, but he's going to survive with this one. It's a one for zero fight so far. Proof of payment taking even more damage, and the minions still home guards, home guards, in. They They're going to need him. Getting home guards. DJJ has him. He's going to go back in. Nexus down to half. The retreat's going to come in. Sergio's dream. Got to take a nap for now. An inhibitor does respawn. Uh, Mundo, it's gonna be hard to deal with here for Nami trying to get away. He pops the ulti. Bubble's gonna land. DJJ not a happy spot. Still trying to run away. Low on health, but keeps regenerating. Oh! Jigso lands, takes down Mundo, and the fight will continue. Lokran looks in and finds Deluxe. Looks like he'll pick up the kill with a barrel there, Arxley Slash. Caitlyn ultimate, not blocked. Nice shot there by Chu. Chu, no, Cat 8. Different player. Four members in the base versus three. The pressure still coming. Minions still flooding in as well. Nexus lower and lower on health. SGD pushing and pops the Banshees. Goes in for the damage. Proof of payment in the back line. With a couple more shots to go. And that's going to be the Nexus 2-0. Sergio's dream from San Jose State University. Making it to the finals. Sigh of relief right there. They're happy to finish it off in two games. Because they've got a pretty big match for themselves tomorrow. Yes, they do. Battle of West Coast teams going to be here in the finals tomorrow. Just gotta say, some great performances here. 11-3-8, uh, and eight, the Lee Sin of Lokran. He was aggressive the entire game, constantly making moves, stole buff after buff after buff, and just made so many plays. Yeah, very well executed by not only him, but also the rest of the team. Following yeah. up the invades, jungle invades, definitely always a team oriented activity. They played it extremely well. Not overextending either. When they didn't no. have bottom lane presence, he didn't go for the invade. Nope. They didn't expose themselves. So that's a well-measured team. And this is once again a team that we'll see in the Challenger series as well. They're one of the qualified North American teams. So even if they don't make uh, any farther in this tournament, they're still a team we're going to watch out for some more. And they look well practiced. You saw the teamwork that you talked about, them coordinating the invades. You know this team plays together. A lot of talented players in this one. Watch out for them tomorrow. Yep, watch How out about? for them tomorrow as well in the finals. It's going to be a fun finals. Should be a fun finals. Blue Caster Minions versus Sergio's Dream. That's coming up tomorrow. It's going to be enjoyable. Another best of three. It's going to be pretty great. Playing for a lot of money, you know. $100,000 uh, prize pool of scholarship money. Good scholarship. That's, a, yep. that's another free year. Yeah. Uh, you can get, you're going to go for a fifth year. Those are fun. I did that. Wasn't a smart choice. Take some relaxing classes. I went underwater basket weaving. That's how you got here. Now, because I believe in cramming, let's take a look at the updated bracket. Thanks to their semifinal sweep of U Beast, Sergio's Dream advances to Sunday's finals, where they're going to face the Blue Caster Minions for the Collegiate Crown. And even though Queen Gypsies and U Beast came up short tonight,